Prince Charles and Queen Letizia of Spain are making a rare joint appearance. The pair stepped out on Tuesday during a visit to Auckland Castle in England, where they took in artwork together by Spanish artist Francisco de Cerberan at a new exhibition. The duo were all smiles as they were photographed greeting each other at the outing, clasping hands together. Queen Letizia was also previously in attendance at last week's service of Thanksgiving at Westminster Abbey, honoring the late Prince Philip. She was joined by her husband, King Felipe of Spain, for the event. Also in attendance were Prince William and Kate Middleton, who were joined by their eldest children, eight-year-old Prince George and six-year-old Princess Charlotte. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have been attending more royal events as well as official appearances lately. Dailymail.com's Charlie Langston previously told Access Hollywood how the pair has been stepping up to one day be on the throne. Kate and William are really kind of stepping up to the plate as far as leading the monarchy. Now, William is not the next in line to the throne. His father, Prince Charles, is going to be the next monarch in the United Kingdom. However, William and Kate are very much already in that kind of waiting in the wings role where they are both very much aware that they will be on the throne probably, you know, not too far in the future. I think they both know that Prince Charles is not a young spring chicken. He's not the age that Elizabeth was when she became queen. And I don't think anyone is expecting Prince Charles to sit on the throne for decades and decades to come. He will absolutely take on the role because he has been waiting his entire life to become king. But I think that his reign in comparison with the queens will be very short lived. William and Kate are already not acting as though they are already the leaders of the monarchy, but they are taking on a huge amount of responsibility, not just in terms of public engagements, but also in terms of the way in which the monarchy is run. They're making small but very important changes, opening up the monarchy to a more modern point of view, not perhaps in a way that is noticeable every single day, but bit by bit, they have kind of helped the monarchy to evolve, to kind of embrace new traditions, and to kind of maintain the important heritage of the past, while also kind of saying, okay, a few of the things that we used to do are seen as being very stuffy. They are very stuffy. Here are ways where we can kind of maintain the tradition behind these things, without making it appear as though we are completely ignorant to what the rest of the world is doing and how they're living.